Well, hello. Thank you for joining us on our little discussion on how to use the Roman Missal. This is the book that priests use when they celebrate Mass. And so the Roman Missal is essentially the script for Mass. This has all the prayers that the priest will say, all the actions that the priest will do in order to celebrate Mass in the Roman Catholic Church. Some people have referred to this as the Bible. This is not, in fact, the Bible. Um, this is just a book for the instructions for how to say Mass. And the book is, is designed to help us say Mass. And so it, the first thing it does is for those areas we use a lot, the book has tabs on the side so that you serving Mass or the priest saying Mass can quickly and easily find places that they come back to over and over again, no matter what type of Mass they're saying. And so what we're going to do now is I want you to take some time and look at the types of tabs that we have in the Roman Missal. And the first tabs that we have tell us the order of the, called the order of the Mass. So these first three tabs. And what the order of the Mass is, is they are the instructions for Mass. Think of it as the basic script. So here we can see the penitential rite. The things that the priest should do are written in red. The things the priest should say or the people should say, are written in black. So this is the script for Mass. If you ever get lost, come back to these first tabs, and you can help reorient the priest and get them on the right page. The first tab is the Liturgy of the Eucharist, which goes up to the homily, well, up to the creed, and then the second tab is the Liturgy of the Eucharist, going up to the Eucharistic Prayers. And speaking of Eucharistic prayers, the next set of tabs are, in fact, the Eucharistic prayers. In the Missal that we use, there are 10 Eucharistic prayers. There are prayers 1 through 4. 1 is kind of is one you probably never hear. It's very long and fancy. 2 is the one we usually use at school. 3 is probably the one you're most familiar with from your parishes. Uh, 4 is uh, used on occasion. And then there are others for reconciliation or votive masses, which are basically just particular devotions that people can have. And there are other Eucharistic prayers that have been approved by the church, but these are the main ones that they include in the book because they're the most popular. In addition to the tabs for all of the Eucharistic prayers, the, the one thing we always do, no matter what Eucharistic prayer we do, we, when we come back to communion, it's, communion is always the same. So, so in order, knowing that, we get a special set of communion tabs. In our book, these tabs are gold. You can see them here. And they begin with the Our Father, and they have all of the instructions for how to give out communion and the prayers that the priest says uh, prior to giving out communion. So, very helpful. We have these tabs that help us to navigate to those parts of the Mass we use over and over and over again. But there's more than just that. We th There are prayers that change based on the time of the year or if you want to offer a, a special Mass. And in order to find those other prayers, the best place to start is in the general index, which in our Missal is right at the very front. And so you can see here, there are all kinds of different Masses that you can say and different prayers for each of those Masses based on the day, based on a saint you might want to celebrate or a need you want to particularly pray, pray over and highlight at the Mass. And the general index will tell you what page those prayers and those masses can be found on. However, as you're moving through mass, it's not very convenient to come back to the general instructions, look up the page, go to the page to say a prayer, then go back into the order of the mass, do the next thing, then come back to the general index, look up the page number again. And so what the book does is it gives us these ribbons that we can use as bookmarks. So I'm going to zoom in here and you can see me setting up as if I'm going to celebrate a mass on a Sunday. So we can see the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We begin with the collect. When we are do it, pray, when we begin the Eucharistic liturgy, we pray over the gifts. That prayer is also in here. And then the prayer at the end after everybody has received communion. So I'm going to be coming back to this, this page three times during the Mass. And so what I can do to make it more efficient and smooth, I'm going to throw a bookmark in there. And so you can use these bookmarks to highlight any of the places that are not, don't have their own tab that you're going to come back to and you want to move to very quickly. I like to set it up with a bookmark at the prayers I'm going to use. I also usually put one at the penitential rite so that I can use, uh, so I don't have to try to make up penitential prayers on the spot. 
But you can use these bookmark marks. They give you five of them uh, to help guide you through the through the book uh, it, to places that are not don't have their own individual tab. So they're very very helpful. Now we have the main masses. We can say our daily our daily masses and our Sunday masses, but we can also pick masses or, and pray for particular needs and occasions, whether that's a saint that we might be remembering on a particular day or uh, yesterday was Labor Day. Uh, when this video was recorded, there are prayers for, for human labor. Uh, you, can, you can customize the mass in addition. And so the general, uh, the, the back of the missile has other masses and for other kinds of things that you want to focus on while we celebrate mass. So I hope this is a this is a really quick and dirty um, guide to how we use the Roman Missal. We're going to be practicing with it in class, but I just want you to go through this to kind of see, to get a general overview of what's in the Missal and how to operate and use the different parts of the Roman Missal. And so good luck with all of this. I look forward to the end of this unit when you will all be celebrating your very own Mass, um, so that way you too because there's nothing better than actually using and having to perform the task to learn how to use the Roman Missal. So thank you all so much for your time and good luck.